and welcome to Nani Notes. Well, here's a fun multiple representation problem, number 36 in section 8.1. Let's get to it. Um, well, first off, let's just draw a picture. There's a couple pictures. I've got myself a dodecagon over here, and uh, over here I've got a regular hexagon. Again, both these are regular polygons. Regular means congruent sides, congruent angles, and that's the interior as well as the exterior. So you, you can see where we're going with this in a little bit. Um, now, we know this from earlier on. In the case of, well, these are blue and these are green, the exterior angles, they always add up to 360. That's, um, we learned that earlier in this section. And the sum of the interior angles, that's that funky thing, S mi n minus 2, number of sides minus 2, times 180. Um, number of triangles you can chop it into times 180. That's what we knew going into this. But now we're going to say, we're going to try to come up with a function for the measure of these interior angles, given that we know n, and that would be, or as a function of n, n the number of sides. That's going to be kind of cool. So watch this. First, let's stop and think about this. These angles, well, you know this exterior angle is 360 divided by 12. Just like this one is 360 divided by 6. In this case, this one's uh, 60, this one's 30. And the angles next to them, well, they're a linear pair, so they're going to have to be supplements. Okay, let's clear it off and let's go to our imaginary polygon. Let's just draw it like this. So I've got a polygon. This is the interior angle. This is the exterior angle. I don't really know how big it is, so I'm going to you know, try to do this. And I can't measure it. Instead, oops, messed up there. I want to. I just want to start by saying these two are a linear pair. Any interior angle and its associated exterior angle, linear pair. That we know this, since the exterior angle is 360 divided by n, the number of sides. Again, they all have to be equal. Then we know that the interior angle is 180. Take away the exterior angle. Well, that makes sense because that's, of course, uh, that is a linear pair, or in, which are also supplementary. So now all we have to do is write it as a function. Then we've got part A. We're going to say our input variable n, so h of n is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 over n. Pretty neat. All right, that's, now that's the easy part. Let's get to the fun. Okay. Now, uh, part B says, well, can we, um, I don't know, can we, find, uh, can we find h of 9? So in other words, what's the value of the, of the function? We haven't talked about functions much in these, you know, since Algebra 1. So we're just going to input that as our variable. And of course, uh, we can see how that's going to work out. Um, the exterior angle is going to be 40. And that means each interior angle would be 140. So the h sub of 9, the function evaluated at n equals 9 equals 140 degrees. Then we were also said, well, how about if we know that h of n is equal to 150? And well, clearly there, are, now I'm going to subtract, in this case, the 180 from both sides. I don't like that negative. So I'm going to do that. I'll just multiply every, you know, take the opposite of both sides. And then, of course, I can do the old switcheroo as we've done before. We can swap the, the extremes in this case. And um, we solve or divide. Notice the units divide out as well. There's no more degrees. They're just 12. There's 12 sides, period. All right, last page. This is the good stuff. So now we're going to represent it on these rectangular coordinates that I made for you. Um, keep in mind it's rectangular because, I mean, we could change the aspect ratio of this and it would change the shape here. Um, I mean, after all, this each of these is one. I mean, this is, this is one, two, three, and this is 10 degrees. So we have totally different scales. And um, I've got a couple on here already because these are the ones in part B. So we're going to plot them like this. There's nine sides. This is 120, 30, 40, so you're going to put a point right there. Got it? Beautiful. And then uh, 12, 150. Well, this is, let me see, 10, 11, 12. This is 12, and this is um, 30, 40, and this is 50 right here. 
So there's your point right there. Now we can do, we'll do some easy ones and then we'll, we'll do some that you have to do yourself. But I'm going to leave you with a little bit of the work. We know that when uh, 360 divided by 3 is 120, 180 minus 120 is 60. Or another way of saying it, all the interior angles of an uh, equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. 3, 60, right there. Now, we know that the interior and the exterior angles of a square are also 90. Four sides, 60, 70, 80, 90, right there. Well, how about the ugly ones, ones that don't come out pretty? All right, here we go. Pull up your calculator. Now, let's pick out something like 7 heptagon. Then. What are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to take, take your 360, divide by 7, and you've got this number. Now, if you have all your functions, you can do this. You can take the opposite of that, and then I'm going to add 180, 8, 0. And there you go, 128.6 to the nearest tenth. Let me move this out of the way. So 128.128.6. How are you going to plot that? Well, as good as you can. 7. And this is 120. This is 130. So you're going to put a point about there. You can eyeball it. And um, well, let's do another one. I'll do one more, then I'll let you guys do. See, some of these are going to come out nice whole numbers, but a lot of them aren't. So let's go for, oh, let's say 17. And I can't believe they're making an announcement during my lesson. All right, so 360 divided by 17 equals, and I switch to sign, and I'm going to add 180 degrees, and there you go, 158.8, 158.8. So let's figure that out. We've got 17. This is 17 sides. And this is 150, this is 160, 158.8 would put it right about there. So interesting shape taking place. And I know the textbook just said for n equal, from 3 to 8. But you know what? I think it'd be more fun. We're going to 18. So let's make a beautiful graph here. Let's see how well you can do. And remember, it's, um, well, I guess I made it fixed for you, but... We could change the shape of this if we just manipulated these rectangular coordinates. So get that figured out and get it sent in, and um, good job, links. And we'll see you back in class.